Hey, it's Kim. Welcome to today's video where I'm actually going to be doing a plan with me for the month of February. Plan with me videos have always been a little bit intimidating to me, but you know, I never back down from a challenge. Um, but I can say they're probably a little bit intimidating because I don't normally sit down to plan out or prep the entire month in one sitting. I do a little bit here and there um, every now and again and actually my favorite place to plan is probably when I'm sitting in bed at night. <laughs> so I'm hardly ever at my desk actually setting up for the new month. But a friend of mine was on Instagram and she was setting up for February and I said hey maybe I could do the same thing and film a plan with me video. So that's why we're here today. So we'll get started. Uh, my desk is a bit of a mess. But it just is what it is. So I'll move some of these other planners out of the way. And here's my pencil pouch, which I am going to need during this video. Pop that over there. And you'll see a little bit of a difference uh, compared to my 2022 setup video that I posted not too long ago. Things are looking a bit different. And that's because the actual books and the setup that I put together is completely different. So the inserts are completely different. I'll explain in a future video, but you might notice that this is an A5 Hobonichi Cousin that I cut down to standard size. There's a lot going on with that explanation. That's why I'm going to put it in a separate video. So be on the lookout for that coming up in a couple of weeks probably. And if you definitely want to catch it, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications. But getting into it, today we're going to set up for the month of February. And I'll kind of give you, I guess, a little bit of a flip through of what January looks like. I really don't do a whole lot on the monthlies. If you'll remember from my previous setup, which I actually have here for the month. Oh, I actually don't. I took it out and I'll explain. But for the month, I was doing like a list view instead of like a month on two page. And that was pretty much to save on space inside of this book. But um, since this Hobonichi Cousin, of course, comes with a month on two page, I have just switched over to this type of view and it works just fine and I'm using the sterling ink subscription kit to decorate each month you'll see that I have <clears throat> a very bare bones kind of setup um, after I put in appointments and everything for the month I don't typically tend to add to the spread for anything at all sometimes I might to track things that come up throughout the month but a lot of times I don't so this is our monthly for February and as you'll notice, um, the column over here is missing, so it doesn't say February. <laughs> so for that reason, I am definitely going to have to label this and just make note of that. And then our weeklies begin over here. I'm actually not going to set up any weeklies in this video. I may do future videos talking about um, how I do set up my weeklies, but for the month I do have a few additional pages that I like to add so for example this is the monthly um, spot I don't even know what to call it but the <laughs> compilation of uh, information I like to keep for each month so here you'll see and this was shown in my previous setup video but here you'll see my habit tracker there a vellum a pretty vellum also from sterling ink and then over here my highlights which I'm going to change the name of and we'll get to that so I like to have that for January or for each month I should say and also I do like to have a task list which I have set up in this previous book and I just haven't transferred it as of yet it's actually in this one but I decided to move it out of my daily pages and into my monthly pages so that's what I'm going to be doing for February as well so let's get started First things first, I'm going to pull out all of the supplies I need to get set up for today. Um, as I mentioned, I typically like to use these sterling ink vellums or um, kits that does include the vellums and everything to set up for the month. And here I do have 
the pieces of the February kit that were sent out last month. So I'm just going to pull everything out. And work through what I need for setting up for today. And also something I like to do, I do print the monthly freebie that Sterling Inc. gives to her um, followers on the Facebook group. So I, do, I did print the monthly freebie as well as a few post-it notes and I tend to do that every month. I'll print out the freebie. I actually already did marches so that's a sneak peek for the March design which is very beautiful as well as some sticky notes for March and here's my February so when I do see what the design is that's when I take the opportunity to pick out which markers or which colors I'm going to use for that particular month so I'll take a little piece of scratch um, to Maui River paper and the colors in here are very light this is actually kind of like a beige sort of background around the flowers but you can't really see it i think because we're on top of a uh, paper that's not super white but trust me that's what that is let me see if i can show it yeah now you can see like on top of a paper that's very bright white you can tell that this is kind of like a beigey background but on top of the Tomoyo River paper you can't really see it all that well anyway so I'm thinking I do like the tan and beige kind of colors with a little bit of like the yellow leaning that's going on here so I've got a Tombow 992 um, there is some green like a dusty kind of green and I always love like all of my Tombow greens this one's 312 which I think is called Holly and then there's 192 which is called asparagus why do i know these names i don't know the 228 which is a gray green or something like that which i think will probably be too dark but i'll pull it out anyway and then something i always feel is lacking in tombos is the selection of blues i feel like they need like grayish bluish kind of colors which they don't have which might be nice for this month but let's see let's go with the start swatching some of these so this is 992 which is sand if i'm not mistaken and then there's a 942 as well as a 990 so this one's 942 which might be light sand these names could be wrong <laughs> that's 942 and then my 990 is somewhere I actually have two of them don't ask why let me see I hear a bunch of rumbling okay here's my other 990 okay. so this one is 990 that one actually I think might be the better option to use for like the neutral kind of color that I want to go with because it does have like a it kind of complements the yellowish tones that are going in there all right so we'll go with 990 for that one and then these greens I'm thinking Holly is too green but maybe maybe not I don't know so that is what I believe to be holly. This one is that gray green, also very pretty. And then this one is asparagus, which might be too green. So I think between holly and the other green, um, and I'm kind of leaning towards the holly green shade, but I'll leave both of them out just in case. I want to come back to it so like I said I'm always like I feel like the green or the blues are missing so I think maybe this blue mild liner might kind of be okay I'm not super convinced so maybe I do think maybe this one might be too blue though see it's a nice blue but 
probably a bit too bright. All right, so, so far, <laughs> I have two colors, maybe th three that I'm going to use and just determine what I'm using which one for. So normally there's a main color that I like to use, and I'll use that for my dailies. Give you an example. So I'll put up at the top, I'll highlight underneath where I write what day of the week it is or the date. So I'll probably use the 990 for that purpose, and we'll see what happens with the other colors. But I'll leave this over to the side so I have it and I can reference it as we go along. So those are my colors for February to coordinate with the Sterling Ink Kit. And we've got, you can see this is the freebie that comes with the orders. And then the calendar, which I'm not gonna use. This is like a little mini sticker calendar. I haven't figured out how I'm using these yet, so I don't wanna use it. Um, this is a die cut, it is a sticker of a pretty like perfume bottle and then the February stickers I have two of those so that'll be great for me to label the month and also we have washi strips this looks like a pinkish kind of color and then this one's like a beige sort of color oh and these are on the matte paper with some foiling I actually switched my kit originally I was getting the combination kit which is both transparent paper transparent stickers and matte stickers or not matte white I'm not sure what it's called but I switched it over to transparent because I actually like the way that looks better on the Tomoe River paper so these are some date headers day headers I should say and then date stickers I use this set already in my pocket planner and then just a few other decor stickers we have some boxes some box stickers some floral elements and then these so it's a combination of matte white stickers and the matte transparent stickers so I think I want to start at the beginning which technically for me would be for start at the month the actual month of February so let's get there and here we are so February <clears throat> first starts on a Tuesday I don't have a lot of space or a lot of room over here to add like any additional decor um, so you could always like title it over on this side which I don't always love to do but I don't think it honestly matters so I'm going to go in with some of the washi strips and I will pick the beige color washi strip. And if I did these, see I'm not used to doing this on camera, which is kind of mess me up a little bit. So if I use this washi strip and then just cut it to fit these three boxes and then these two boxes, I would have enough and I also feel like I'd like an accent color of washi so maybe something like I kind of like this color it sort of complements that uh, bluish green dark color there but I don't know if it might look too dark and then well I'll leave it out and then I have these washies from the planner spot these are really pretty they're like a light gray and a light beige so they can complement things as well I think this is like a grayish color now I think I'll leave it at this All right, so where are my scissors? Preschool scissors. And let's get started. So I'll go to there. All right, so. Mm. 
my goal is to kind of mute this green color washi just a little bit more. And I am not a stickler for things being perfectly straight or perfectly even. They just don't have to, I just want them to not annoy me. That's pretty much the idea. So now I do admit that this will probably look better if it was on a white backing and not the transparent uh, paper. If I put it like right on top of that, it would look a lot better that way. But this is what we got, so this is what we're going with. Oh wait, where's the, the little die cut? Can I do that? I don't know. Too much? <clears throat> I have stuff going on on the 7th, so I don't want to cover that week. Could this be a thing? No. I don't want to put it here because I don't want to cut off the edge of that sticker, that's it. I like this layered on top of each other, though. And then I could put something under there. I don't know. I'm gonna hold off on that. I don't wanna commit. Cause I also feel like that brings in more of that brownish, yellowish kind of color. And I feel like I would need to tie that in someplace else as well. So again, not perfect. Putting it down somewhere. All right, so that's pretty much the extent of my February decor. I sometimes will use like a dot sticker, but I was thinking I might use the, these stickers for events because I honestly hardly ever use these. So, maybe I'll do this for events and then I need to pull out my calendar. Okay, on the 7th, I do know that I have two things. I don't know, whatever. Let's do it. Two times appointments on the 7th. Um, I don't typically put birthdays on here unless they are birthdays of like the people with whom I live. The 21st, we have no school. So, maybe I'll kind of mark that. I would like to mark it right there in the header, but I feel like I don't have enough space. And speaking of that, probably should have been a bit more organized. I know I have my um, stickers from the planner spot, the holiday stickers. Where they are is a mystery. Cause I got everything all mixed around still. Okay, here we go. Let's take both of those out. All right, so this is President's Day. I have bigger stickers. <laughs> I have a bigger set, hold on. And those are here. So I use all of the names. I could use, sorry if I'm hitting the tripod. I could use the icon. Let's just use the icon. But I feel like will I will it stand out to me? Should I put like marker? Oops, marker underneath it. No. Because I want to write. It's <laughs> a terribly crooked line. I want to write on that line that it's President's Day or that there's 
no, no school or whatever. Let's just put that there. All right. What else? Where's my monthly list? Oh, my daughter's birthday is on the 26th. I'm also off on this day. Put that there. And I'm sure I have some, like a birthday sticker. <clears throat> and one of these planner spot kits. I'll take these balloons. Put that there. All right, and we've got basketball games. All right, let me look. So I've been using this pocket Mia Cara as like an everyday carry, and I actually have been putting my schedule in here for forward planning. So this is where all of my dates are. Originally in my 2022 uh, planner lineup, I told you I was using my companion planner for these dates and under normal circumstances, I usually would, but I wanted to try out this pocket planner to see how I like it. And for this purpose, I do like it for tracking dates of important things. Okay, so this is what I should have pulled out from the beginning. On the first, I do have an appointment. And then, oh, on the 21st, I have an appointment. Okay. And then basketball. Second, ninth, and 23rd. I don't know. We'll use these other icons for those. Just because. <laughs> Just because I have them. Second, ninth, and 23rd. And I know these red, the red shading bothers a lot of people, especially with the Hobonichi cousin. Um, it doesn't bother me so much, and I actually am glad that I cut off all of Sunday so that I would have that space. And if you notice, I split um, the Sundays. I should actually make that permanent. But yeah, split Sunday. Okay, so that's it for appointments for the month of February. And then I'm gonna draw in the lines to split February. Rulers in here. So I'm still testing this out to see how I like using a trim down Hobonichi. Um, what I do know is that standard size is my jam. This is where I'm staying. This is the size that I absolutely love. So that's not a question. The question is just which things or which uh, components of the system will I use, you know, to suit me best. And like I said, I'm going to do a whole video on how I even landed here with using this cut down Hobonichi Cousin, what led me here, and of course a review of how I'm liking it and how I'm using it. So a question I did have, I wasn't sure if I was gonna put, since I split these days, so half is gonna be Saturday, half is gonna be Sunday, if I'll put like the number down there. Um, that is another reason for which I could use these numbers from the kit, the calendar numbers from the kit, but no, they're not big enough. They don't kinda match with all the others. I'm not changing all the other numbers, so I want them to kinda look 
the same or as similar as possible so since I'm not using those I'll wait on actually numbering the Sundays but we'll see so as it stands out this is the month of February done I'll come back and fill it in and give you a look a peek at how that's looking we're not doing weeklies like I said but I am gonna set up the rest of the components for my monthly so what I'll normally do is tip this in with a piece of tape and that's exactly what I'm gonna do today so I'll pull out my tape in here somewhere and I like to use a ruler a long ruler to help me tip this in so I am going to be putting it on this side of the page and that's how I've trimmed it and cut it prepped it to fit in there this will be easier admittedly if I took this book out of here but who would I be if I did things the easy way <laughs> I like to make things difficult for myself sometimes. All right. I also feel like I don't do these plan with me's because everything seems weird. Like the way I'm maneuvering the paper, the way I'm holding, I don't know, the way I'm setting things up. It's a lot different when you're doing this on a flat surface as opposed to me being used to doing this like on a bed for the most part so let me use the ruler to kind of wedge this down in here and I feel like every time I tip a vellum or something in it's never perfect only like once has it ever worked out great this isn't too bad it's a little higher up than I prefer it's still coming to the edge of this paper but there's a little bit of a gap there and then I'll just fold it down to make it do that all right so this is the side where I'm going to put my tracker originally I thought that maybe I would print the tracker out onto some other kind of or onto like a piece of Tomoe River paper but I've decided against that at the moment oh and if you'll notice I'm not paying attention to the dates the dates don't matter because I cut off most of them so which is also something that makes this work for me it's something that makes my brain fit around it I don't feel obligated to use each day for a specified reason so my thought was to maybe print it out onto Tom Tomoe River paper and just paste it into here or glue it into here. Um, I had thought that for the highlight section as well, but I think for right now, since I'm filming and I haven't prepped any of that <laughs> beforehand, uh, I'm debating if I want to wipe this out. Like, Yeah, I'll just wait it out but I'm not gonna be doing this for like every page in this book yeah I've been using it doesn't drive me too crazy and that's not perfectly whited out also fine so I will start though by filling in the days so February has 28 days, duh. And I think my title will go there. So then I'll start numbering the days here. Yeah. And if you'll notice, I didn't even count to make sure like all of these would fit. But of course, I say of course, <laughs> they should, or at least they better. And there we've got all of our days. Use my ruler. Okay. 
and then pretty much do the same thing to add my tracker in. I did do a test tracker that I don't, I was in the other. So I tried all of this out in a 2021 Hobonichi Cousin to see how I'd like it and it worked well. So what I do need to do though is start with my days. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'll start like back here. So we'll do 28. And just number backwards until I get to one. And then I'll know where to put my titles and all of that. Uh, 17, of course I'm gonna mess up numbers along the way. So I could have moved that over a little bit more. But it's fine, it's fine, we're fine, we're good. So I do know that I come down here and start my sleep hours. So, nine, ten. Considering these boxes are smaller than the insert I was previously using, I do have a lot more space on each page. Which is generally helpful. I need to look at a my previous tracker to kind of see what else. So I have one line above that and then this line. It would help if my ruler was straight or at least close to it. And then this one's gonna go straight across like there. And then this line, this is where shorter ruler comes in handy. Wait. Okay, so that was a little bit of a mistake. This line. Okay, next time I do this, <laughs> and maybe I should just start this now, I need to take these books out of my cover, because it's clearly getting in the way. All right, so the first is on a Tuesday, so I'll go ahead and put in the days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I also find that I write a little messier when I'm doing this on camera. It's true, sad, but true. All right. I do wanna use this pen. I think I'll cut that first line, don't you? So that is my tracker set up and I do have a couple other spaces if I wanted to track anything else. There were actually a few things that I would kind of reorganize on this tracker for the month that I thought about before but forgot to remind myself to do that now. But oh well. And then this page is going to be my January task list. So for instance, this is a page that I would definitely either try to wipe that out, but I know I put a little bit of decor, did I say January? My February monthly task list. But um, I know I normally put like maybe some washi or whatever up at the top, which I am gonna do today, so it doesn't all need to be whited out, and that is my doorbell. So I'll be right back. Fast forward a little bit of time. Not sure exactly how much time has passed, but I answered the doorbell. I um, logged on for work, I had a work meeting, <laughs> I'm now at my next break, but throughout that I have continued to kind of uh, set up some things here. So I'm going to walk you through what I've done and give you an overall look. I did actually fill out the calendar as well. So we left off, I believe, on my task page. So this is my February task list, and I don't fill this in until the month starts. 
So usually things that go on this list are coming from um, my monthly goals which I have a previous goal video that I'll link in the cards and down below for you. So I have some tasks that are coming from that. I have tasks that will be coming from my January task list which I gave you a peek at in this one and I, even, I haven't even updated everything to check off what's been done and what hasn't. So we're about a week or so away from February so I can't quite fill this in until I finish up with the previous month's task list until I sit down and go over which I actually have what my goal uh, tasks are going to be for the month of February and think of anything else that I need to do like just now I thought that I need to schedule carpet cleaning so that's going to be on my February task list so this won't exactly get filled in just yet but in the meantime I did go and decorate with a few more of the stickers I used the pink color washi which I don't know I don't think I'm going to use it very often it's very pretty but it's just pink and I don't I'm not a I don't gravitate towards pink I should say so this is the pink washi it has a gold foil it looks like a rose gold kind of foil really pretty I use that along with one of these stickers um that is like a flower underneath a cloche let's see here you can see it a little bit better a flower that's like underneath the cloche it reminds me of beauty and the beast <laughs> with the rose that they had in the glass and then okay so I put that in there and then i use the second february sticker and i put that here and uh, I did put that little butterfly sticker there and I was going to and I think I'll do that as we're speaking just put another little flower right up top there just because so that's my February task list and it's all decorated on this side of the page I should tell you so we're gonna start the first day of February on this page um, if you'll notice if you look closely this actually is the first day of February as indicated on this page but like I said I'm not paying attention or I'm not going by those dates I'm just using these pages as sort of like a notebook I'm using them like a undated notebook so I'm not paying attention attention to the dates just so happens that once you know, I put in all these other things that were here on the first. So I was testing out if I'm going to use these day stickers for the weeks, which I think I might. I just wasn't certain if I wanted to do some kind of washi underneath because they are a transparent sticker. I feel like they need a little bit more oomph to kind of stand out a bit better. So I'm exploring how I'm going to do that. I use this washi that I use on the monthly spread, this turquoisey colored washi. I tried that. I also tried the lighter beige colored washi from the planner spot underneath it. I didn't prefer that. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out how that's going to work. That's what that is. So I'm going to take you through from the beginning and show you my full February setup as it's currently filled out and ready to start the month. So here is the monthly. I added in, of course, all of the appointments. I pinned them in, everything that I know at the moment. I also added a few more embellishments from the Sterling Ink February kit. And I feel like it's coming together. It looks really good. I'm glad I did choose the, tr the 312 Tombow marker. Um, it's holly green and it does correspond or coordinate really well with the colors in the sterling ink kit so that's my monthly and then my pages for the month and I'm, I'm trying to think of a name for these but anyway my pages for the month are here so on this left hand side is the tracker I do need to put the title tracker there and the beige that we chose is 990. I typically will just do a highlight right there and I'll write tracker right there. I added some washi. This one here is from uh, Paper Minty Studio. So that's what I put there. And then I put one of the transparent uh, floral arrangements from the set, from the sticker kit on top of that to just sort of jazz up the page a bit more. 
and then here is the vellum that we tipped in showing the calendar for February and then this is where I would put my daily highlights I use this also from Paper Minty Studio it's a label washi so I use that right there to stand in for where I'm going to put the title for this page I'm thinking so in my previous video I used to call, I mentioned that I used to call it highlights and it's not really highlights because sometimes I might put low lights sometimes I just put whatever I feel like sums up the basis of that day or the thing that stood out the most for me that day it's not always good not always bad sometimes in between so I didn't want to call it highlights so I did get the advice from two wonderful viewers to call it my one line a day which I could but for whatever reason I was thinking daily happenings but I thought that sounded weird and then I was thinking like daily captions or something of the sort kind of like you know caption this like how I would caption the actual day so I'm still on the fence about what I'm gonna call this but as soon as I figure it out I'm gonna fill it in there could be one line a day that's easy that makes the most sense I don't know why I didn't think of that in the first place but it may be just one line a day but it's all set out for the month and I did use that die cut sticker down here I think it looks really pretty layered on top of some of that uh, turquoise color washi and the beige washi so put that down there and then the task list as you saw and then we start into the dailies for the month of February so that's everything all set up for my month I am ready to go this is currently the start of the last full week of January so I'm really glad that I'm set ready to go and ready to get started for the month of February I thank you so much for watching today's video and if you have any questions about things that I've shown please don't hesitate to ask down below in the comments and I'll get right back to you anything I've shown or mentioned in today's video will also be listed down in the description box for you as well thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one